Brian Somerville has been following the hostage crisis in Midland City. He was there when the boy was rescued in Bryant. Law enforcement officers revealed more tonight about the final minutes of the standoff, right? Yeah, Brenda, about an hour ago, law enforcement agencies came out uh, to talk with the media a little bit. Of course, right now, information still uh, very much limited as to what they can release. you got to remember, this is an ongoing investigation. We did hear from Dale County Sheriff Wally Olson, he, uh, and he did answer one of the few questions. He said that Jimmy Lee Dykes was armed when police entered that bunker, of course, to bring out five-year-old Ethan. And he is the story tonight. Ethan is free. We also heard from Steve Richardson with the FBI. He said that he visited with Ethan this afternoon. He said he is doing fine in the hospital. He is eating. He is laughing. He is joking. He, quote, called him a normal five-year-old boy. Now, as for the aftermath of this, a big crime scene to process, and we're told it will take some time, but we have been told that the crime scene is secure tonight. So the bottom line, the silver lining in all of this is that five-year-old Ethan, after six days of being held hostage, is free. Tonight, we take a look back at the beginning of this with one of the girls who was there from the very beginning. At approximately 3.12 this afternoon, after six days, FBI agents, 144 hours, safely recovered the child who has been held hostage for nearly a week. Five-year-old Ethan is free. I was just praying to God Ethan was okay. Tarika Singletary, arguably more concerned for Ethan than anyone, and for good reason. She was familiar with his kidnapper, Jimmy Dykes. She was on that same school bus. Because I thought that horrible man, after what he done to Mr. Pollitt, I thought he was going to hurt Ethan. Last Tuesday, she remembers Dykes walking on her bus, talking to the bus driver, Charles Poland. Some man comes up, he gives a broccoli and a note, but he throws it away and he has his pistol in his jacket. Terrified, she ducked down in her seat. He was threatening everyone, talking about he'll shoot everyone and kill everyone. Poland threw the bus in reverse, trying to get away. That's when Singletary says Dykes shot him. Poland, who has been described as a quiet, gentle man, was buried Sunday. Do you think he saved you? Yes, he did. He saved like 21 of us, and I'm very proud to call him a hero. And perhaps he even saved Ethan. People in Midland City, a faith-based community, believe the bus driver continued to watch after him, even when he was in that bunker. Monday night, Ethan is free. Dykes dead. Now that Ethan's safe, I feel happy and relieved. Law enforcement, along with everyone else, taking a deep breath, giving themselves a much needed pat on the back, knowing a five-year-old boy has been reunited with his family. And Singletary says the next step for this community is simply to move on. She says uh, that tomorrow, of course, all Dale County schools will be reopened. And she says students should not let this one incident discourage them from feeling safe in either the school or the school bus, for that matter. Live in Midland City tonight, Brian Somerville, ABC 3340.